All right, so here we are. We're ready to reassemble our bearing hub for the 66 Impala. Uh, what I did before I start is I went and got a piece of brass bar. It doesn't have to be hollow or nothing. It's got a piece of brass bar at to the top. I also took the old races and I sanded them down or grinded them down to use them to push the new ones in. Uh, something good that you want to do uh, right off the bat. All right, so here we go. I start, this is the way I do it. I start at the back, the larger one. Lower that into place. Grab the old one. Place it on top. Here. And gently tap in a circular kind of pattern here. Excuse my hands for a second. Actually, you don't really need it until it's flush. And then you go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You can feel it going down. The reason why you grind this down is so it doesn't get stuck in there and you got to hammer it out and risk ruining your other race. Now I'm not a mechanic so I'm taking my time, or happy to take my time, so I can do this properly. Sorry for all the noise. Now when it's seated, it should sound a little different when you're tapping. A hollow sound goes away and a more firm thunk thunk. There you go, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. Sounds like it. Let me check it inside. If you look inside, you can't really see it, but you can see it yourself. And we're almost seated. I think I need a little more tapping. And we're in. Just a quick inspection. We're in. All right. Same thing applies for the other side. I go and do the races right away. Your brass is always better, so you don't uh, ruin your stainless part. That's pretty flush. Grab the old race that I grounded down, and we start going again. Try to hit it evenly. I'm not really doing it too evenly. Try to do it better than I did. Yeah, watch your thumbs. Ow. Again, sound should change when it seats. There you go. Solid, solid. Solid, solid, and I think we're seated. Quick inspection on the inside. I use my fingernail around the lip. No gap, it's seated. So we're done that side. What's next? I grab my blue grease here. You can use any grease you want. I use the blue stuff. Put a good gob of it in the palm of your hand. And start packing the bearings. Uh, Maybe start from this side, it'll be easier since the, uh, there's no airflow yet through there. I mean, nothing uh, blocking uh, the air holes out the back. It'll be a little bit easier. I don't know. I'm not a professional. This is the way I'm doing it. All right, so you're just kind of pressing and scooping at the same time. You want to fill up all that ring in there as tight as you could. And what I do is I kind of scoop it into the bearings here again at an angle. I don't know if you can see. All around, all around, all around, all around, again, and again, and again. Then you flip it the other side, and you start scooping it in that way. Again, different mechanics do different techniques. Uh, it's the way I've seen it growing up. 
So we have seen it on YouTube and a couple of places. I like to check it and make sure it's all, oh, see there's a spot I missed. Check it. Take your time, pack it good. You don't want to have to undo this. You don't want to have to redo bearings for nothing. Uh, the amount of driving I do on my uh, Impala, this should last me uh, at least 10 years, if not longer. All right, quick inspection. Now, somebody once told me you give it a good spin and you just recode it in case. And that's what I've been doing. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put some on the inside here on the race off my hand. And I'm also gonna try to pack some in the back of that hub on the inside. Why not? You're there. I don't know how much you're supposed to fill the hub inside, but I like to pack it in there. All right, so that's done. Just drops in, right? I like to go ahead and scrape a little more in there too. Overkill is underrated, as I once heard in a movie. Smurf fingers here. Looks like I had a good night with Smurf. Uh, next is the seal. Um, I didn't see anything specific about greasing the seal, but I like to, why not, put a little bit in there too. It'll squeeze out if you, it's not needed. Why not? And see that? Not too fussy on that. Grease it up so it goes in good. So there's your hub with your bearing in it. Here's your seal. Make sure you put the uh, cup side down, I guess. And put that in. Take your hammer in a circle. Gently, gently. You don't want to ruin your seals. And you don't have to whack the crap out of it either. It's just supposed to sit flush. Or so I've been reading. That looks like it's flush to me. Part of the mess. Right? That's one side done. Flip her over. The race is already in her. Let's get a little greasier because apparently I'm not greasy enough. Oh, oh. Watch out for garbage everywhere. All right, here we go. Let me do the process again. It's better if you put the grease in the palm of your hand. You got a bit more of a firmer kind of cupping action happening. I don't know if I mentioned it. I'll mention it again. I'm not a uh, certified mechanic. I'm just a guy not wanting to pay outrageous money for someone to do something that's clearly easy. Again, flip it over, scoop it into the cracks, pack it in as hard as you can. Well, within reason. Right? Give it a twist, stick your finger in your wedge it so that the, all the little bearings turn. Give it another quick coat. And I think we're pretty much good. Well, before I stick that in, I'm going to go ahead and try to fill the hub as much as I can within reason, again, with the, the blue grease. Because I think it'll be easier than waiting till the end. Some of this smurf. Anyway, jam that in there. Jam that in there. All around inside. Yeah, I should have been doing this with a grease gun, but whatever. Whatever works. There you go. There, that's all done. And I pop that in there like that. And I give it a little greasing. Now, I don't have my car here with me at work. So, what I did basically is I just took a little shrink wrap and I wrapped it all up so everything stays in place till I get home tonight. And uh, that's what I, I would recommend you do. Now when I go to install it, I'm probably going to pack more grease in here too uh, before I put the spindle on and I'm going to grease the spindles real good. Because you don't want your bearings to go dry on you in a couple of years, you know. Uh, I mean, you're supposed to inspect it and all that, but who really pulls off the bearing caps? 
when they're excited to get their ride out in the spring. I know I sure as heck don't. All right, and that's that's it. It's ugly, but there's the quick and dirty Impala Piper version of how to do it. 66 Impala. I'm going to clean that up before I reassemble it. And that's it. Thank you.